Welcome to the Java programming series and today we will understand how to write down the program to print below patterns. So before we jump into the program, let's try to understand the pattern. So in this pattern, we have to print 5 rows or we can say we have to print 5 lines, right? Now let's try to understand what we have to print in each line. So in the first line, we have to print 4 spaces and 1 star. In second line, we have to print 3 spaces and 3 star. In third line, we have to print 2 spaces and 5 star. In the fourth line, we have to print 1 space and 7 star. And in the fifth line, we have to print 0 space and 9 star. So if you just consider this as a box, then you will able to understand that how many spaces we required. So first of all, we need the 4 spaces, 1, 2, 3, 4 and then 1 star. Then 3 spaces, 3 star, 2 spaces, 5 star, 1 space, 7 star and finally we need the 9 star, right? Now let's try to focus on the logic that how to create this program. So first of all, let's focus on the number of lines. So we have to print the 5 rows, right? And we know that whenever we want to print the rows, we have to take the outer for loop, that is the i for loop. So let me just take the i for loop. So let's say for loop integer i is equal to 1, i less than or equal to 5 and i plus plus. Perfect. And here I can just print the enter. So when I execute this program, it will print 5 enters into the console. So you can validate this by highlighting the console. You can see that it's printing the 5 enter. That means we are getting the 5 blank line. Perfect. Now let's try to focus on what we have to print in each line. So what we need to print in each line. So you can see here we need to print some spaces and some star. Right. So let's try to understand how many spaces we required and how many star we have to print. And for that we need to create a relation between i, spaces and star. Right. So let's try to understand the relation. So let's understand how to create a relation. So we have a one i, we have a spaces and we have a stars. So let's consider that when i is equal to 1 that means the first row. So how many spaces we want and how many stars we want. So we want to have 4 spaces and 1 star into the first row, right. In the second row we need the 3 space and 3 star. In the third row we need the 2 spaces and 5 star. In the fourth row we need the 7 star and 1 space. In the fifth row finally we need the 0 space and 9 star, perfect. Now first of all let's try to create a relation between the i and space. So can you see some pattern here? Can you see some relation between i and s? Yes. What we can see from here? You can see i plus space is equal to 5, right? You can see when we do addition of i and s, we are getting some constant number, right? You can see 1 plus 4, 5, 2 plus 3, 5, 3 plus 2, 5, 4 plus 1, 5. So if we want this space here, then we can just write down s is equal to 5 minus i. So we need to take one space loop and it will execute till 5 minus i time, right? Perfect. Now let's try to create a relation between i and star. Okay. So you can see here, can you see some pattern between i and star? So you can try to pause the video and try to find out the relation between the i and star. So you can see here, if I multiply i with the 2 and if I will do minus 1, we are getting the 2 minus 1, 1. Multiply i with the 2, minus 1, 4 minus 1, 3, right. That means if I multiply 2 with the i and if I do minus 1, we are getting the star. So we need to have a 1 star loop and it will get executed 2 into i minus 1 time. Right, so this is the relation we are getting and you have to identify the relation by just checking this pattern. Okay, once you check this pattern, you will get some idea that what is the pattern we are following here. Right, so we got this relation. So what is the relation? If we want the star, then what we need to do? We can multiply i with the 2 minus 1. So I can multiply i with the 2 minus 1, you will get the star. So star loop we have to execute this many times. Perfect. So we are printing 5 lines. We also know that 
how many times we have to execute space loop and how many times we have to execute the star loop excellent now which loop we have to execute first so you can see here first of all we have to print the space right and then we have to print star so inside this for loop first of all we have to take the space for loop and then we have to take the star for loop so let's just try to write down the space for loop and star for loop so we have to print in each line right so we have to write down inside this for loop okay and now let's first take the space for loop so i can just write down for loop integer s start from 1 s less than or equal to and what is the expression for s it's a phi minus i so let's say phi minus i and s plus plus and here i will just try to print single s single space and we also have to make sure that we don't have to include the ln because we have to print into the same line so perfect my s loop is ready my space loop is ready now let's take another for loop for the star so i can just start integer j is equal to 1 j less than or equal to and how many times we have to execute the star for loop it's a i multiply by 2 minus 1 right so i multiply by 2 minus 1 perfect and j plus plus and here i can just print the single star and again we have to remember that we don't have to include ln so i can just print the single star perfect so we have written the for loop to print the space to print the star right so let me just try to execute this program now so if i try to execute this program then you will get our desired pattern excellent so i hope you are clear now how to write down the any pattern program so that's it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it if you have any comments regarding this video try to write down into the comment section thanks everyone and we'll see you into the next video